Anyway, listen, if you want to hear some catch up, I've just come across. Oh, hello there, and welcome. It's Richard McKenna. You might be able to tell from the background there, we're at King's Cross in uh, in the big big London London Village. And uh, anyway, I'll wait a few seconds till a few of you are going to join me. But anyway, listen, if you want to hear some catch up, I've just come across this young gentleman. I'm going to show you him. His name's James. Yeah. Hi, James. Hi. Hi, James. Hello, so, James, you just caught my eye because just put your board up there. Sure. Look at that. Who would stand in London in, outside King's Cross Station with a board saying, I have high functioning autism, please help me find a job so I can be normal like you. When I approached him, I didn't actually know what he said, but I just knew that he had a story to tell. This guy used to work for BAE in the workshops, an engineering type role, lost his job because he failed security because he went to South Africa for a few months and uh, you're not allowed to do that within five years apparently, something like that. So listen. The guy's an intelligent guy, he's got good, he's good, good with his hands, uh, what kind of job are you looking for? Anything workshop related, anything I can uh, do, any uh, hands on a, uh, job really, any workshop or engineering environments, I'm very good in those, uh, that, that sort of environment. Workshop, engineering environment, good with his hands, uh, uh, whereabouts in the UK do you live? Uh, Currently in Portsmouth, but uh, Portsmouth. You come willing to, to relocate anywhere. You come anywhere. from Portsmouth to London. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's come from Portsmouth to London to hold that piece of cardboard up. Come on, people. Let's share this broadcast. Let's get the guy job. Where are you willing to work, Jim? Anywhere. Re willing to relocate anywhere. Anywhere? Yeah. My God. Is there anybody that can help this guy? Uh, I mean, who... What did it say? I had a high functioning autism. Yes, it did say that. Uh, I think it's irrelevant that he's got high functioning autism. He's doing something that most people would not do. He's putting himself out there. Let's help share this guy. What qualifications have you got? Not uh, that it matters. Just my GCSEs. He's but, got his GCSEs. But, but they're, all a good, they're all a good selection, all season above. I am. Uh, I was working towards my BTEC level 3 in mechanical engineering with BAE, but having lost that job recently and having uh, I wasn't able to complete the apprenticeship, yeah. but uh, I was... Yeah, I'm more than capable of getting that qualification. Yeah, absolutely. He speaks more fluently than me. Um, so here's the deal. He seems like a lovely young man. He is. He is a great guy. I'd give him a job if I had one for him. Right, okay, so we're going to share this broadcast with people all around the UK. Let's get him a job. Um, I know you said in a workshop, but would, would you consider other things? Yes, James? I'd consider anything. Uh, any, consider anything. I'm not too great with customer service. Um, I don't know about that. Probably, probably because I'm a bit too honest. Um, I'm not too good on te telemarketing, but any other job, like anything where I can just have a task, do it to myself or in a team, as long as I don't have to talk to the general public or customers. What? He's doing great brilliant. now. He's doing, yeah. I, I don't, don't beat yourself up about that one. You seem all right to me. Okay, so how can they get hold of you? Martin Brown says, mate, if you were in the South Africa, I'll, I'll drown you. It was because he went to South Africa that he got lost his job at BAE. Uh, anyway, where are you based? Listen, well, how can they get hold of you? That's the main uh, thing. Email me at jdurkan991, uh, yeah, jdurkan, D U R K A N 1991 at outlook.com. Uh, add me on Facebook, James Durkin, or my phone number is. He's going to give you his phone number. No harassment, no sales yeah, calls, by the yeah. way. <laughs> would you go to Manchester? Yes, I would. To do what there, Lauren? Give, give me your phone number. Uh, right, hold on. Find him my phone number. I have a job for you in Newcastle if interested. Donna Connolly, what's the job? Well, get his deeds. You okay, my phone number 079 566 45756. This is a bright chap. Uh, I mean, who would do it? It's the kind of thing I'd do actually. You can't see it because it's reversed on yeah. here. Oh, hang on, let's do it. Let's turn it around. I think that's better. Uh, I have a high functioning autism. Please help me find a job so I can be normal like you. Uh, well, James, I'll just say good luck with that, mate. Thank you very uh, much. We've got your details on there. Yeah. I'll watch it on Catch Up and okay. uh, I'll drop your line and see how you're getting Excellent. on. Please share this with people. And there's a few. Anna Lee, there's some phone numbers here, my friend. Have you got a pen? Uh, I've got. Listen, we're live on Facebook. Right, on this one. Well, right, okay, get this number before it goes 07956. 07956. 645. 645. 756. That's Anna Lee Robinson. He's, cra he's um, couch surfing at the moment. Let's give this guy a break. You got that? He's going to yeah. give you a call. Anna, come to Lovely North Times. It's all like coming to these places. Get, let's get the guy a job. There's, oh, Gillian, Ginny Freeman, get her number down. 07982. Yep. 910. 965. 565.
I write his own number so everyone had it. I write his own number. Oh, write your oh, number. That... What a great idea. All right. Put your number at the bottom. Um, Thanks for that. That was his own number, the first one, mate. Oh, that was your no, that, no, that was your number. number. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Give us your write your number on there. Uh, I have a job yeah. in Newcastle working with dogs. Would that interest you? Yeah. What do you work yeah, with dogs? I'd work with dogs. I love dogs. I love right, dog. I'm an animal lover. Re watch this on replay. Get his email address or his phone number. Give him a call. The first number was his number. Not Anna's got it. He's writing his own number down. I couldn't walk past when he stood there with a piece of cardboard on, could I? Right, here we go with his number. Okay. Just, just flip the camera. That's, uh, maybe I'll fix that. Uh, there we go. There's his number. 07956-647-756. Job that can work from whatever you want to do with my team. Yeah, so I've, I've met, oh, hang on. I have mentioned network marketing to him, so listen, you've all got his details, share it, you never know who might give him a job, he's relocate anywhere, uh, could be a, let, let's, let's show uh, Great Britain what we can do, we can help people a lot. Anyway, listen mate, I'm going to go. Cheers, thank you very oh, much. All the best, take care. Cheers, thank Good you. luck mate, cheers, bye bye. Well that was recorded nine days ago, just nine days, and in those nine days, that video was shared over a thousand times on Facebook, and it's been viewed over a hundred thousand times. I have never known anything like that, hundred thousand. More importantly, it was viewed by an agency down in Portsmouth, which is James's hometown. They asked him to asked him to send in his CV, he had a telephone interview and then a face-to-face -face interview and the fantastic news is, it's unbelievable, he started work yesterday, Monday, in his hometown, he's working for a company that manufacture wing mirrors uh, on uh, vehicles uh, and that's just a fantastic success story but there's, a, there's an important message behind all this, James was prepared to do what others weren't prepared to do, got him noticed, I noticed him, you noticed him, many of you shared that video so thank you for that and he's got himself a job, he's got himself a job, lovely. What are you prepared to do? Are you prepared to put your head above the parapet and be noticed, do as I did as a teenager, age 13 when I took part in the public speaking competition at school, I did what others weren't prepared to do and you know what, it paid off for me, it paid off for him, James, and it'll pay off for you. I'm Richard McCann, have a fantastic day, bye bye.